Hi everyone, Mademoiselle Asphodel, Carol here. Um, today I'd like to share with you a few projects that I'm submitting for um, paper, the Paper Shelters uh, DT Design Team call. Um, we'll start with this one over here. It's a little, um, I made a little drawer and um, it's a, an easel card. The paper that I used for the drawer and the, um, the box itself is um, Kaiser Crafts Lake House Collection. What I did also, just to show you, was on the inside, before I glued everything together, I lined it with black um, lace, just because I don't like to see the exposed um, cardstock. the back because I like it to look pretty. So this paper here is um, from Kaiser Craft once again. Um, that one is the Charlotte's Dream. And um, So this is an image that I got from uh, the paper shelter, and I colored it with my uh, Spectrum Noir markers, and um, distressed the edges with um, sponge sugar, Tim Holtz sponge sugar. Uh, added a little uh, rosette trim here, um, stamped with a um, Inky Dinky Doo stamp, and cut it out with a uh, Stampin' Up punch. Some more rosette here, and this uh, heart spray is from um, Wild Orchid Crafts. And, uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, the easel card. Now, I did forget to mention that I put a little flat back pearl here from um, Jay Zella's shop, um, Lavish Laces on uh, Etsy. And um, I cut out from the same paper line the Charlotte's Dream with uh, Mastability and it's called Floral Ovals. I used the biggest one. So that's it for the uh, of card. And then uh, this card I used um, Recollections Corrugated Cardboard card. Uh, the papers that I used here and here are from the um, they're an old collection from uh, Prima. It's the um, Madeline collection. Uh, here again is the image that I stamped from, that I printed from the paper shelter. And what I do is I print it on uh, multimedia paper. Um, I forget the weight. I'll insert it in the uh, Dropbox. Uh, but I find that it can take, it takes the ink very well. Um, and I used one in a multimedia project that I'll show you next and it takes the abuse quite well. <laughs> um, the flowers that are used are from this recollection pack over here in the corner and um, Petaloo Elements. I love these flowers. That's my last one. This one here. Just beautiful. And then, um, this is just a little petal that I had in my stash here, and I topped it with, maybe I'll just zoom in a bit, I topped it with another petal of flower. Um, and the butterflies I cut from this sheet of the um, Kaiser Craft Bonjour collection. I use my Martha Stewart punch and I just punch out the uh, butterflies there. I do that whenever I can because I love the uh, the printed and actually it's a bit it's embossed. I don't know if the camera picks that up but there we go. Um, 
but yeah, that one was really a lot of fun. And uh, the paint that I used just to smear here and there and also on the back cover is um, Americana Bahama Blue. I thought that turned out cute too. I just have to add the sentiment. And this was a, um, a trial. And I mean, you can't be afraid to play around because, uh, you know, amazing discoveries are made when you're playing around with different mediums and whatnot. So I got this, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six by six um, canvas. And I started by using um, this crackle mask by Prima up here in the corner after I gessoed it, of course. And um, I had a, like an Argyle one that I used in the bottom, but I ended up covering it, which is off in the way, but I think the piece kind of reveals itself as you go, so it's kind of fun to just play. Um, and I shot a whole lot of things onto this. <laughs> um, the Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays that I use are the uh, T-Bird Turquoise. Tainted Love Teal, Saltwater Taffy, getting low on that one, that's one of my favorites, and Frenchie's Pink Poof. So I use those four sprays. Wisteria color by Americana. This one is Baby Pink by Folk Art. And once again, the Bahama Blue by Americana. And then because the raised areas weren't really showing up still after all the paint splattering I did and the spraying, um, I used Textures in Patina. This pretty color. Uh, Dazzlers and the Sponge Sugar. And I gave it a little bit of dimension once again, and then the Dazzlers and the Tutti Frutti. Actually, this is the texture of the one. Um, so you can kind of see some of the texture, but you have to look closely. Um, also, I used a couple of papers from the um, Madeline collection. And this was... Um, a sheet with like the little banners that they have on one of the sheets. The papers that I used. For this one, which has a faint script. And this one. Here, here, and that little border strip is here. Um, I used some Recollection Bling. These are Melissa Francis um, little stems here. And then I used, again, the Petaloo uh, Premier in the Lane collection. I love these flowers. I, I especially like the, the tiny ones too because, as you can see, I tuck one in here. And then the other one is tucked in here. It fills in those little gaps, those little holes quite nicely. Um, I have a couple of leaves that I got from uh, Jason Shaw. Lavish Leases. Um, and this beautiful bright pink one and this one are from uh, Recollection. Flowers. And um, I scrunt I took a small piece of um, just cut a small piece of this um, well, it looks like an eyelet pattern lace um, and I um, tied a piece of seam binding in the middle and I just kind of scrunched it up here. You can see. It adds a nice touch to that corner. Um, this lace, uh, I believe, 
I got from Jzella as well. Uh, this one I purchased at a local sewing store. This one is also from Jzella shop. And this one was one that I purchased at uh, Walmart, I believe. There you go. And I use that as a, um, a hanger for the canvas. So this was, like I said, the experiment because I was not sure that the paper would take the abuse that I uh, <laughs> I threw at it. Because if you look closely, you'll see splatters and, and whatnot. I did try to cover it at first, but then I said, well, you know what? I don't mind a bit of it getting on here and there. Um, what I used to adhere th the um, image was the Claudine Helmuth Multimedium, but it's so um, thin, I find that it uh, it sharpened my colors, made my colors sharper, which is not really the effect I was looking for. I wanted more of the muted tones that I had on there. And I didn't coat it, um, but like I said, this is a multimedia paper. Uh, I think what I would probably do next time, Mod Podge, and just cover the entire image, or maybe a Krylon spray once it's uh, colored in, um, before I apply it to the canvas. And then I would just use um, one of my favorite glues to use, the 3 in 1 Beacon. Uh, it dries quickly and it's. I just love using it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the little canvas. I had a lot of fun playing with this. I love the images at uh, the paper shop. It is just awesome. Purchased quite a few of them now, and um, you know, I'm always looking for the new ones when they come out. And I love coloring. I'm quite new at it. Um, this was probably third or fourth image that I colored. This was the first, I think. Um, and this was the last one that I colored here. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.